Achieving the perfect coffee comes down to two important factors, freshly roasted beans and optimal grind size. Let us show you how each of the grinding functions work on the Smart Grinder Pro. In just five simple steps, we'll show you how to prepare your Breville Smart Grinder Pro to grind beans for espresso coffee. We'll use the single wall double shot filter basket, optimal when grinding fresh coffee beans for espresso, which ranges in grind size from one to 30. Make sure you insert the right portafilter cradle size before inserting your portafilter into the cradle. The Smart Grinder Pro comes with two cradle sizes, 50 to 54 millimeters and 58 millimeters. We'll use the 58 millimeter. Once your portafilter is set in position, press the Shots Cups button to select how much ground coffee you need. For espresso, the maximum number of shots with the cradle inserted is two but you can select up to five shots when the grind container is in place. Rotate the grind amount dial to adjust the grind time for your desired dose. By increasing the time, you'll increase the dose and decreasing time will decrease your dose. Now to select the grind size. When making espresso, we recommend 12 as a starting point, then moving the grind size dial between coarser and finer to adjust the flow of espresso as required. Oh, and if in future you notice the grind size dial feeling a little tight, simply press the Start Pause Cancel button to run the grinder while simultaneously turning the grind size dial. This purges caught coffee grounds from between the burrs. And finally, press the Start button, or momentarily push the portafilter handle in and release it. After a few seconds, hit the Pause button so that you can settle and collapse the coffee in the portafilter. Press the pause button again to continue with the remaining grind time. Once grinding is finished, remove the pour to filter from the cradle and tamp your coffee grounds. That's it. You're all set to brew that delicious cup of espresso. Another perk of the Smart Grinder Pro is that you can grind into a container or coffee filter. To do so, remove the cradle by sliding it out from under the grind outlet. Slide in your coffee filter or grind container with the cap open directly under the grind outlet. While you can grind without the lid, we recommend you keep it on to prevent coffee grinds escaping. Select the amount of ground coffee you desire by pressing the Shots Cups button. Then hit Start to start grinding. Once you're finished, you'll be happy to know that the grinder will automatically enter power-saving sleep mode after five minutes of no use. And to wake it up, just press any button. Now, let's check out the percolator function and how you can achieve a quality cup using your Smart Grinder Pro. First off, remove the portafilter cradle to insert your grind container. Once your container is in position, press the Shots Cups button to select how much ground coffee you need. This particular function has the capacity to select up to 12 cups, but for now, let's grind for four. Next, rotate the grind amount dial to adjust the grind time for your desired dose. By increasing the time, you'll increase the dose. Decreasing time will reduce your dose. Now, hit the Start button and get grinding. Once completed, you're all ready to make your morning cup of coffee. Next, let's explore the drip filter function to kickstart your day with a quality cup of coffee. First off, remove the portafilter cradle to insert your grinds container. Once your container is in position, press the Shots Cups button to select how much ground coffee you need. This particular function has the capacity to select up to 12 cups, but for now, let's grind for two. Next, rotate the grind size dial to adjust the grind size for your desired dose. By increasing the time, you'll increase the dose and decreasing time will decrease your dose. But for now, Press the Start button and you're all set to grind. Once grinding is finished, it's time to make that perfect cup of drip coffee. To master the plunger, we recommend you heat water using a temperature kettle to 93 degrees Celsius, which is the ideal temperature for brewing coffee. Remove the cradle and insert your grind container. The grind size range for plunger is 55 to 60 but let's set your grind size to 58 to start. Select the number of cups you're brewing and adjust the amount of coffee to suit your preferred brew strength. Now, start grinding. Once completed, pour your ground coffee into the plunger. 
Fill the plunger with the heated water and pour using a swirling manner. This ensures that ground coffee is evenly soaked. The bloom should reach the top of the plunger vessel like so. Don't add the plunger just yet. Set your timer for four minutes. Next, break the crust of the bloomed coffee using a spoon. Insert the plunger and slowly press it down to avoid spillage. If you notice resistance, pull the plunger up slightly and press down again. There you have it. Too easy. And now a delicious cup of plunger coffee awaits you. Go on, grab your cup.